Hello everybody, how's it going? I've lost count of what day we're on uh, in the lockdown. Must be round about 35 by now, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, remember those of you who were in the army when we had our 40 day parties, 40 days to go. Well, um, I hope we don't have another 40 days to go, but uh, I think we, we have a sense of what it was like in those days, waiting for the days to pass. I'll have you know that I was thinking the other day about the, the great Dwemeni Bayers Nordir, who was under house arrest in Johannesburg. Remember him? House arrest uh, uh, from 1977 to 1984. So if you think 35 days is tough, you can spare a thought for old Dumini Nordia, um, 1977 to 1984. And I think if my memory serves me correctly, the most he could have by way of interaction with anybody at any given one, any one given moment was one person, house arrest. So, but here we are many years later, and uh, we just got to tough it out. Remember the old scripture, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Don't, don't forget that. One day, a lawyer came up to Jesus and asked him a question. He said, Master, uh, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Good question. What must I do to inherit eternal life? I guess that's a question we all want to know. What is it that enables us to begin to experience something of the life of God, to participate in the life of God that gives our lives meaning and, and purpose? And Jesus then went on to say something that I think is hugely important. He says, well, you've got the law, you've got your Bible, what do you read there? And the guy thought for a while and he says, well, this is what I read. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. And Jesus went on to say, you have read correctly. Do this and you will live. Now think about that for a moment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. That's where it's all at. You know, we can make big issues of, of, of other matters, but actually at the end of the day, it comes down to us being focused upon doing those things that Jesus said we should do. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, that is with all the emotion of your heart, with all your soul, that deep inner person that you are, not the pretend person, the essence of who you are. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength to honor God, to, to put him first in everything, to seek first the, the kingdom of God. Do this, said Jesus, and you will live. And then the guy goes on to ask a question. He says, the, the bit about the neighbor, who is my neighbor? And Jesus goes on to tell the story about the good Samaritan. A man is on a journey from Jerusalem to, to, to Jericho, and thieves set upon him. They leave him half dead, and a priest walks by on the other side of the road, kind of looks, couldn't be bothered. And then a Levite walks by, looks, couldn't be bothered. And then a Samaritan walks up to the man who is in desperate need. Now, as you know, Samaritans and Jews in those days did not like one another. And what does the Samaritan do? He gets off his, 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 his donkey, he goes over, and then he binds up the wounds of this man. 
and he pours oil and wine over those wounds and puts him on his donkey and takes him on to the next village where he knocks on the door of an Airbnb and he says, listen, you know, please look after this guy. And he gives him silver coins. And he says, I'll be back in the morning and if you incur any further expense, let me know. Now that's a, a radical story. But it's part of, of what Jesus is trying to tell this guy about what is important for us who profess to be believers and followers of Christ. Loving the Lord with all our hearts, with all our souls, with all our mind, with all our strength, and loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. That's radical. Somebody has said the passages of the Bible that he struggles most with are not the passages he doesn't understand. It's the passages that he understands all too well and finds it difficult to put into practice. So if we say we are followers of Jesus, let's hear this word, this, this passage, and, and really say, Lord, help me to honor you with everything that I am, body, soul, mind, spirit, everything. Help me to put you first. So there we have it. Just a few thoughts from my garden here in Eastcliff. I'll be back in a day or two. God be with you.